All right, guys, Sean here from srkcycles.com. We have a 2009 Harley Davidson 883 Sportster. It's black. It's pretty cool looking. Let's take it for a spin. Of course, it's fuel injected. It's an 09. Everything 07 and older was fuel injected for Harley Davidson. Of course, I can't find the key. There it is. It's got 16,000 miles. Starts up nice. And it, does, it looks like something dropped on it. Something, something cracked that. And you know what? I know what you're thinking. You're like, ah, Sportster is dumb. 883 Sportster is dumb. But you know what? They're not dumb. I'm trying to get my seat, seating position comfortable. They're kind of fun little bikes. Kind of the novelty about them is just their, uh, if you put this next to a Honda Rebel, it'd be like the same size, except this is just built for a bigger person. Now this has the mid control, so my knee, my, my, my knees are a little bit farther than my feet, which is a little more sportier. Um, but it's kind of wild having a, a little bike like this. It's like a moped with an 883 cubic inch motor. Anytime you hop on a small light bike, it's, it's, it's a slightly different feeling, you know, than to have a big heavy bike. It's less stress. You're a little more carefree, you know what I mean? You're just hopping around. You don't got to worry about, like, putting your foot down on some gravel and slipping out because you're, you're so strong, you just pull it back up. It's not the kind of bike that you want to go hop in and do, like, a, a big trip on. You know, like 600 miles a day, 700 miles a day. That's why you normally see Sportsters, you know. It's unlikely you're going to see a Sportster with like 60 or 80,000 miles on it. This bike's more for just you hop on it, you, you head to work. You work five minutes away. Not that it can't do highway speeds, it does highway speeds no problem. It's just not as comfortable. But compared to the stuff I've done, I've done pretty big trips, 600 miles a day on sport bikes, and that's gotta be, this has gotta be more comfortable than that. So I'm not saying you couldn't do it. This is a good running bike. Fun to ride. I'm gonna hit that squirrel. It's just nice and light and easy. It pulls pretty good through all the gears. You get to a nice cruising speed and on a on a hotter day when I'm wearing leather and gloves and stuff like that. I like having an open bike like this. Just let that wind hit my chest, cool me down. The cool thing about a Sportster is you can be, it's got a skinny tank and stuff, but you can be riding a Sportster, you can be a pretty big guy, you know what I mean? 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and you still, you still look good on it. So 
definitely fun. This one runs nice and good. I like these grips. These are really nice grips on it. Harley Davidson grips. A lot of times I, I like the stock grips better than most of the grips people put on their bikes, but these are pretty nice. I like these. Engine guards are nice to have on your bike. You can drop a couple hundred bucks putting them on. These are already on there. Looks like the guy used it once on this right side. Hey, that's what they're for. Paint them again. Do it all over again. That's a pretty good ride, guys. Guys, if you want to see more about this bike, check out srkcycles.com. A quick bash of the Sportster. It's got its place in the world. We can, we can all keep on bashing the street, though. The Harley-Davidson street. We can keep on bashing them. There's no place for those things. Nah, just kidding. They got a place for them. A dumpster. All right, guys. Remember, it's not what you're riding, but where you're going. This is Sean out. If you want to see uh, more of me, check out my uh, check out my video. Subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll see you guys later.